if a teacher were to ask me how to use project-based learning, but they s seemed really stressed about how much time they would have, I would definitely um, encourage them to dive right in and try it because you find when you're doing the projects, you are teaching the standards. They're embedded in there. You don't have to think about it as the standards in isolation. It's one big you know, project that incorporates lots of standards. How can you compare the types of shapes in your bag? Are there other ways to compare the types of shapes in your bag? And how would you write these comparisons? We find it's a really wonderful tool for engaging the students, teaching the standards, and we've seen really good results from our students on their assessments. Um, you know, if you're a teacher who are worried that you're going to have lower test scores because your students have spent too much time doing all these fun projects, we've actually seen an increase in our test scores as a result of using project-based learning. There are three different product displays here, and you can see that there's different products that are advertised there. They put these products on the end of the aisle, as some of you mentioned, to help promote those products because they want to sell them. And in the case of Pierre, it sounds like he wants to increase his sale of tiny house materials. The main misconception of pro uh, project-based learning is that projects act as dessert projects that we call them, so that teachers teach for, say, eight weeks and then students work on a project the ninth week and kind of regurgitate their information. And that's not at all what project-based or problem-based learning is. The project is worked on for a longer time period and they're learning the curriculum through the project. So the teachers have to intentionally plan for that and they have to intentionally plan which uh, pieces of the curriculum best fit in that project and the teachers are teaching that curriculum through the project and students are solving a problem, showing their learning through, uh, through a solution or their final product. Yeah.